representing 136. And John is from Bracken, Fleming, Mason, Robinson. He has District 70. John, could you come up and address the folks about what's happening with House Bill 136 and the right of the Thank you, everybody. You're making great today. Yeah. All right. All right. So, House Bill 136 is over in the Senate. It's in the, uh, it got assigned to the Judiciary Committee. Uh, Whitney Westerfeld is the chairman of the committee. Uh, he's still going through the bill. Last, last, last I know. Uh, he has some questions about why well, certain things are in the bill. So, uh, Representative Nina and myself, we're working together with him and some of the bill sponsors to answer those questions for uh, Senator Westerfield so he can get him more educated. But, you know, we still have to keep fighting. We have to reach out and make your senators from home. Let them know how important this is to you. Uh, it's better if you can meet them in person. You know, that one on one contact. That's, that's what happened to me when we first started this journey. I had people from home come up. You know, their personal stories is what touched my heart and what got me on board to start supporting medical cannabis. But I want to thank all the applicants for being here today, taking time out of your day. And uh, let's keep riled up, keep fired up, and get the hungry centers, okay? Thank you. Thank you, John. John Long, uh, over 50 co sponsors of House Bill 136 have made a, a, a major move and a, a bold move, and we thank you for it. One thing about the medical, um, of course, we're for my right to decide. We want to see the prohibition end. But we're in an emergency with medical. We have 22 veterans a day committing suicide in America. In Kentucky, we have one veteran every three days that commits suicide. We've had these veterans from Vietnam say that when they come home from Vietnam, they've turned into alcoholics and cannabis helped them off that. Then the VA had them on every drug you could think of and cannabis helped them off that. He said, now when I wake up at three o'clock in the morning and I have these terrible nightmares and my brother's body parts are blowing up around me, he said, I can just go to my cupboard and take a couple draws off my pipe and go and get sleep, and then he gets up in the morning. He's just asking for safe access to help him with the terrible nightmares of war. If we stand up for anybody on medical marijuana, we ought to stand up for the veterans who went over and fought for our freedom to do what we're doing right now.